making this video really quickly just to help anybody that needs some uh, help with this or if that you came across the same problem. So for me, I ended up doing a really bad overclock on my computer. Um, so the CPU here, I overclocked that to, I think it was 4.4 and it's in 4.4 gigahertz and it is a AMD Ryzen 5 24G, but I raised the voltage too high so the, it kept on turning on, but the CPU wouldn't actually do anything, so there was no display going to the monitor, right? So I did some searching, and it took me a long time, but at the end, I ended up finding a pretty good solution. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is unplug your computer from the power supply, right? Okay, next thing's next. So I already went ahead and did this so for the ease and speed of the video. You want to take off the bracket that is on here, like that. You wanna unscrew that, there's gonna be, if you have the same case as me, there's gonna be two screws, it varies between it, but take this off. And then take off the two screws that hold your GPU to the actual motherboard. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually unplug the HDMI here. Now for power to come out, now the power's out, now the GPU. Cool, GPU's out. Um. So if you look closely here, I went ahead and undid this. So this is what, it, what I mean when, you, when I mean CPU. So this is my CPU right here. I need to get some more thermal applicator for that. And uh, I'm also gonna have to take this apart soon because I accidentally took it apart and then the screws that hold this thing on it actually fell behind it. So I'm probably gonna fast forward and get these back on there to tomorrow to where I'm gonna have the thermal paste and everything applied. But for now, I'm gonna show you the good strategy and I'm just gonna kind of caveman this. Okay, so the first step that you want to do is if your is check if your computer is turning on, in fact. After you've done that, follow the steps I gave you. Then you're going to look at this battery right here. It's going to be very where to find this battery on your motherboard. So, on your motherboard, once you find this, all you have to do is unlatch it like that. And the battery comes straight up, right? So once you have the battery out, hold it out for about 30 seconds, right? Uh, 30 seconds to one minute, right? So this actually is what keeps the motherboard memory in check and keeps it stored. So once you have this out, after a bit, it'll uncharge. So then after that time, you want to put it back in. So I'm going to fast forward to then. Cool. So it's now been enough time where I can fast forward, where I've fast forwarded. And I'm going to put him back in, right? Just like that. It's in correctly. Now, the GPU goes back in. Cool. Now, GPU power. I'm just going to plug this in. doesn't even matter. This is taking a little longer than a... Cool. GPU power's in. Now, what you're going to want to do is... See this? So, usually you want to put thermal paste on this side if you need to, but usually you can just use a pea-sized uh, thing of thermal paste and put it right on the middle and then it'll disperse correctly. So, just because I'm gonna caveman this for a couple of seconds, I'm just gonna make sure I have it on there well enough for a couple seconds of it. And next thing you're gonna wanna do is plug in your HDMI into the slot, right? Or if you have another monitor, or if you use DisplayPort, plug in the big DisplayPort into the display port box, right? Or a plug-in. Once you have that done, well now you put the power in, right? Just like that. And she's in. Then you wanna make sure that your power supply is actually switched on, okay? Now, the moment of truth. You turn on the computer. Seems to be turning on fine. Next thing we need to do, turn on the monitor. And hope for the best. So once this happens, it should boot you back into Windows. <laughs> Loading into Windows. And look at that. We're in Windows. Whoop-de-doo. Your computer's fixed now.